Hey up guys, this is Live Light 151, my first Sony Vegas tutorial. Um, I'm going to do some tutorials about Sony Vegas, Photoshop, Adobe After Effects and all that. Um, I'm inspired for, from the Limelight 131 and um, Nice new account, Live Livewire 131, is great tutorial they give me a lot of advice making my border for my YouTube stuff so if you want to check his video out put I'll put his link in the description so let's get to it um I'm gonna make show you how to make a border I'll call you it for um or any other video you're making so let's get to it so make sure you open your video I'm gonna open my video I'm gonna put it onto the second track make sure you got two video tracks one soundtrack you don't need to, I'm just going to delete this soundtrack so I don't need it really so my, it's just my Cordery 4 montage it's not, it's no scopy montage whatever you call it and um, make sure you go media generators solid colour and choose whenever, whatever colour you want I'm going to choose black choose black and put it there so <coughs> now at the moment you won't see anything so all you got to do now is go and pan and crop or event panning crop. By the way, you've got to know a lot of things about Sony Vegas to do masking. You've got to have eight, seven, six, nine. I think you can't have anything else from Sony Vegas, or you won't have Sony masking. So you've got to have Pro or seven, six, or nine. So you go to the left corner, says mask. And everything goes away. So you go into this second one below it called Encore Creation Tool. Click on that, and you go next to it and see this little like it's like a pen tip and you click where you want to mask it out it's like really masking is cutting a bit cutting a bit of the video out what you don't want so I'm cutting out this bit here I'm going to cut out here I'm going to rush it so I'm going to save some time there 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 down here I see that on the border you'll see there's a bit missing missing out of the video so all you gotta do now it doesn't look great so I'm just gonna go on to me normal edit tool the arrow right click it go to this deselect deselect all and you can just move it around now so I'm gonna move it around now so I'm gonna go from the corner here I'm gonna there I'm gonna go from this corner here I'm gonna bring it up straight to the line that ought to make it level. I'm gonna bring it down actually, I'm gonna make it smaller. I'm gonna bring it down like that. So like that. Bring that down a bit. Down a bit there. And that's really how to make a border. Um it will all it'll go through all your video by the way, so you don't need to keep doing it and all that. And um you can you can make it loopy like that, just going on the line, but it's quite hard. To make it look perfect, that also acts as curve there, so I make it a bit curvier. That'll do. And quick cross. So now you really, you, all you want to do now, get another video track. Right click it, make another video track. Go to media generators text, and go to default text. Put it in. Quick cross at the moment. Go to always side to make it level to everything. And go to generate media. Or the one there. No. I'm just gonna put live light one for one. I'm gonna make it down to I'll say thirty. I think thirty is enough. Not sure, I'm gonna make it to base. I love bit of, it's base 05. Free text by the way, defonts.com. I got free text from that. That's where you get base from. I'm just gonna, gonna don't it's not straight the bottom bit's not straight, so I'm gonna make it go down a bit there. A little better. That looks better. So there. And um what you gotta do now, go to generate media again, go to placement, this is placement and you can drag it into the box where you want to put it. So mine doesn't fit, so I can go back to edit. Twenty-five placement there you go there you also can 
cut bits out on the top so you can put stuff all on the top so it's really easy um, to do masking when you get used to it I've been just I've only just started doing masking and I just in my spare time just been doing it just randomly doing it and I've been doing it for my staff montage and all that so thank you for watching my first Sony Vegas tutorial I hope you enjoy it and there'll be more coming soon cheers bye